there is this point that the value of kinetic friction is a bit lesser than the value of limiting friction which is the highest value of static friction why see in case of static friction the force applied is to break all the already formed bonds that is the adhesive bonds which between, between the actual points of contact but in case of kinetic friction the force is applied to overcome the further formation of bond right so just to prevent the further formation of bond or to overcome a little bit of bonds which have been formed so that is why the value of kinetic friction is always lesser than the static the, that is the highest value of static friction number 2 i have told you that uh, different type of friction is static friction limiting and kinetic friction so this kinetic friction are of two type one is how can a body move over another body either it can roll or slide right no we are not talking about the walking thing so sliding sliding friction or rolling friction so the names are but obvious sliding one body slides over another body and the rolling friction is a body rolls usually circular so uh, because obviously not square or rectangular body are going to roll on another body so square the circular part this is the point this is the structure i am making a circular part okay this is a circular wheel which is trying to move over this body now the point of contact let me read all this the point point of contact is actually very small so what happens due to the whole weight of this body the pressure at the single point is very large due to which a small depression is created by the circular body so this depression this depression is created by the weight of this body in addition to this mount which has to be overcome by the rolling body so the force is applied so this is the cause of rolling friction we are discussing this point because kinetic friction is sliding and rolling in nature sliding friction will be rooted to the same laws a uh, same theory of friction that the bond formation is there that is why the friction force is existent but in case of rolling friction the frictional force is majorly due to overcome to overcome the mount to uh, to uh, go uphill and to overcome the mount and also at any point throughout the motion at the point of when the, at these points that are the points of actual contact the these points remain stationary though the center of the wheel keeps moving in forward direction the point of contact remains stationary so yeah this also accounts for the value of static friction so both of this theory works in this point and this holds true for the value of rolling friction